Hello, welcome to my today's topic about applied machine learning. Here you see a simplified process. Uh, in fact, it's a process for detection of the rubber stiffness. And we have trained an isolation forest to score the anomaly of the process. And if you see now, we change to the stiffer part of the rubber and the circles get red. That means um, the anomaly score is such high that the process is classified as not OK. So this will be a result. And in the next seconds, we will see how this will work. Here we have the architecture of our process monitoring. You see the control X core as a real time controller, the drive and the mechanics. We have the data agent, which has access to the data layer. And on the internet side or on the cloud side, we have the data storage. And of course, we have some data science. We start with the control X core. We log in and we have a look on the installed apps. And here we see our already installed monitoring app, which in fact is a Python app which use a pre-trained model. The output of the model will be on the data layer. But before we look on that, we start our process, our simplified process with a singular axis. Here, the programming is done as an example in the Blockly environment in a graphical way. On the right side, you see the process running and we will now come how to get the data from the process for train the model for apply the machine learning algorithms. We use the telegraph agent which has several plugins available on the internet. We use a specialized plugin for the control X core to get the data. Now we have a look on the data storage, the influx DB, and you see here there are already some data there. For example, from the ESACAT field bus, we collect the position of the axis during the process. You can use this database first to explore the data, to have a look on it, see how the process is uh, behaving decide which values would be necessary to identify a process state. And then you come back to your data science environment. You'll see it here on the architecture. Choose necessary data which the or where the context is known. Start and stop time and query for the data from the database. You see here the position of the axis is queried and also the torque of the axis is queried and it results in a plot where you can see the position and also the force or the torque applied during our rubber process. You can see it also here in the database and you see the force get is limited by a certain value to apply certain pressure on the rubber. Now we use this data, which we classify as a process, which is OK to create a model in detail. It's an so-called isolation forest. And here you see the three main lines for creating this model. This model is now trained on the captured data and is available for usage in our monitoring app. To do that, we download this model to our local PC and upload this model to our monitoring app, which runs on the real-time controller. We use the integrated developer development environment to put the trained model in the configuration path we choose this, drag and drop it in a predefined folder and upload our newly trained model. 
We do a little renaming to make it a little bit nicer. And here you can see the configuration of our monitoring app. So we give the file name of the model, we give the connection strings, we give the addresses for the data layer, where are the inputs and the outputs, we restart the monitoring app, and we can see now the process is still running, and we can see now on the data layer the, uh, the anomaly score which was calculated out of our Python app. We choose here the data layer and you see on the left side there's the monitoring anomaly score and during the process, so if the process is within our process window, the anomaly score is calculated during the processing of our rubber. You can watch the um, data of course also or you can create um, dashboards. We use here a Grafana dashboard, which in fact also queries the data from the InfluxDB. And yeah, choose appropriate time period. And also we now want to create an alert on that score. So if there is a certain threshold hit it, it shall create an alert which sends um, a message to our mobile phone via Telegram. We choose the threshold 0 0.55 and adjust some rule specific parameters for the alert, save the dashboard, name it and apply it. So the database runs on the internet so it's on the office network side and the data agent ensures that the data is transferred to our database for a process monitoring. We can insert some another uh, nice visualizations for example here uh, this uh, circular um, indication we can give it also the same threshold to mark it if it's above or below a certain level and we apply it and now we will see again the demonstration we change the rubber to the more stiffer part which in our showcase is a process which is not okay and remember this is not um, a real-time dashboard because this is all going over the internet over the database it's a production um, scaled approach and so there is a certain delay of course but after certain seconds we see on the mobile in the telegram client our alarm which is generated out of the Grafana alert rule. If we change back here in our showcase the rubber to the normal part the anomaly score will go down to the level which is declared as normal process level.